Welcome to Let's Play Halo Combat Evolved, your trippy commentaries. I'm RJ. I'm going to play through the game with Justin. Yo, what's up? We'll be playing through it on co-op, of course. Our first co-op game here at TrippyCom. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. So you guys will have two different uh, views to look at. Uh, we're going to be playing the anniversary edition of the game, so you'll have updated graphics updated soundtrack and uh, it should be an epic playthrough uh, have you ever beaten the first halo here justin i have not halo 2 was really my introduction to the series um, so it's going to be really good to go back and get to the origins of the storyline mm -hmm. and uh, see, see how that relates to things that happen later on in the other games uh, this is actually my favorite game in the series so i think you'll enjoy it quite a bit some pretty epic levels that we'll be getting into. So let's start it off. Gonna have to choose our memory units, I guess. Campaign mode. And uh, let's go ahead and ramp it up to, heroic. what do you think, legendary? <laughs> no. Why not? No, we'll go heroic. I always felt heroic was the perfect difficulty going through the entire Halo series. Even uh, the newest one, Halo 4, I felt heroic was the best difficulty to uh, do it on unless you want to uh, be a pussy and go for an easier setting. <laughs> um, I think we're good, right? Settings, uh, what do we got here? Everything good to go? Subtitles enabled, yes. Why would you want it any other way? And uh, let's go ahead and start the co-op campaign. Yeah, that's the, something uh, I know a lot of people don't like is, is the captions, and I've always found myself using them through you know ever since they became available on video games I just remember even on old movies I, that was just an option I always like I always like to see the text of the dialogue yeah I love captions in video games but in movies I'm not a big fan of it unless of course they're speaking another language when we have no other choice here's the pillar of autumn the mothership for Master Chief and the Marines now, this is a pretty epic storyline that you have for this for this first game in the Halo series because it, it's got a little bit more mystery to it than the games that come after it. You know, at this point, we don't know what that ring there is in the distance. Um, you have the Covenant attacking the ship here that we'll find out pretty soon. Um, the dreaded Covenant. Yeah, we're learning about Captain Keys, the captain of the Pillar of Autumn. He's talking to someone named Cortana, who we learn is the AI construct of the ship. So they have some really cool things going on here right off the bat, some stuff you really have to pick up because it really does have to do with the storyline that not only is in this game, but games to come. All kinds of great sci-fi elements that you know are right up my alley. Mm -hmm. For example, like right now, they're really going with the Cortana angle of the storyline, especially with Halo 4. Uh, I know you defeated that game as well, Hustino. Oh, yeah. And uh, as you saw, Cortana was kind of going through some trouble there. She was reaching the end of her cycle, and it's kind of cool to see her at, uh, you know, the very beginning here. This is the origins of Cortana. I want everyone at their station. And this character right here, Captain Keys, that we're seeing, he is one of my favorite characters in the entire series. Uh, really cool, man. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely be getting uh, to see him later in the storyline as well. Pretty epic scene here, you have to say. I mean, they, they really do set the scale of the event here Yeah, checking out, well. checking out the hangar, the space hangar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can see we have an entire army here wow. in this ship, you know, not just a little fleet. <laughs> you know, we have a massive army filled with tanks, uh, warthogs there in the background. Those are always fun to drive. Oh, I look forward to it. <laughs> I look forward to driving the tanks. Those things are awesome. Oh, yeah. Sergeant Johnson. This is not a drill. Clearly, it is about to go down. And with this giant army of aliens 
that are clearly hostile, yeah. that are about to board the ship and, you know, maybe kill everyone, how can we possibly get past this threat? You know, what is the answer? <laughs> Sensing a little Starship Troopers references here. Trying to see fighting off the alien invasion. This is going to be your lucky day. Cryo store. So, how are we gonna fend off the aliens? We are gonna take control of the secret weapon of a kick-ass super weapon in the form of the Master Chief. And in this case, we will be two Master Chiefs. He's hot, blowing the pins in five. Here we go. If you play in single player, uh, you'll have to do a little uh, setup right at the beginning where you make sure your controls are on point. But in co-op, it skips that and goes right to full-blown panic mode and escape. Now, before we head out, uh, let's go ahead and just show off the old-school graphics. You can tell, man, they they did not, uh, do, you know, they were not lazy at this at all. They completely upgraded. The graphics I mean that that's crazy they really went over and beyond and uh, props to them unfortunately we missed the initial explosion while I was showing you guys the graphics and uh, that guy who was leading us uh, to the correct route died he blew up so we have to come over here you with me Justin yeah like I was just checking out the graphics like you were saying <laughs> nice all right give me a minute man. let's go this in a rush yeah uh, yes, it's because we have aliens taking over the ship, it's okay. and we are the only hope. We must rush to the bridge. Whoa! So let me get a few Polaroids. If you hit the left thumbstick, you can crouch underneath this gap. Whoa, we got some Covenant back there. There's a tunnel over here in the, in the dark. If you hit the left bumper, you can turn on your flashlight as well. Now, unlike other Halo games, the flashlight does have a battery, so watch out for that. Oh. Going after him. Do we go? Here we go. Sir, the captain needs you on the bridge ASAP. You better follow me. All right, so we are basically going through an initial little uh, introduction area here. We are, of course, don't have any weaponry, so all we can do is run away from the Covenant, and we are on our way to go see Captain Keys. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Good to see you, Master Chief. Her best, but we never really had a chance. So what's the backstory on Master Chief? Is he a converted cyborg warrior? Does he have a real name, you know? Yeah, his real name is John. Uh, John 3... something. 314 or something like that. <laughs> Austin 314, so makes sense. Um, but, uh, yeah, Austin 316, that's right. <laughs> But, um, yeah, basically there was a whole troop, a whole like, army of Spartans, which is what the Master Chief is, a, sp a Spartan, like you said, a, basically a superhuman. And uh, a lot of them were killed in the Fall of Reach, a game that we will be probably playing next that will kind of show off that whole... That whole that whole thing that happened where basically all of the Spartans were wiped out. And uh, John here, Master Chief, is the last one left. He's the last Spartan, and uh, he truly is probably the best of all of them. And we'll be learning why he is the best uh, later in the series. Cortana actually handpicked Master Chief, and uh, there's a reason why she did. But I did pick up the the pack that it's a it's a new Halo Origins pack that came out that included both Halo Combat Evolved the Anniversary Edition with Halo Reach. Yeah, uh, pretty cool. I, I gotta say it's a nice package that uh, they did release on the Xbox 360, and I feel like uh, Halo Reach would definitely be an excellent game to play next. We may play Halo 2. We'll see. 
but uh, Halo Reach just was fantastic at setting the storyline up for this game. It was just a great prequel, and yeah. I, I really liked the angle that they went with that one. Well, let's see if we get lucky enough to see a Halo 2 remake the way they remade Halo 1. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of rumors about a Halo 2 Anniversary Edition yep. that possibly could come out this year, 2014. So uh, hopefully that happens. I think that would be perfect for us to, to play through just because we're playing through the original Halo uh, playthrough. Oh, let's go, Justin. And uh, yeah, so I'd be epic to play through that, but uh, I guess it has to be released first. Sorry, now, all these cinematics, man, they put me in a daze. <laughs> so now we must kick some alien ass. Uh, just be careful because we are playing this on Heroic, so we're going to need to be careful and uh, be tactical about this. Here we go. So the bigger aliens that you'll see right off the bat are elites. And the smaller guys are grunts. The grunts pretty much are not that big of a deal unless they have some elites with them. If you eliminate the elites, the grunts will start to uh, panic and give up. Um, another thing you're going to want to do in this game is grab the grenades. Oh, yeah. They're certainly useful, that is for sure. And there's two different forms of grenades. You can get frag grenades as well as uh, plasma grenades. Plasma grenades are great to throw on the aliens because they'll stick to them. And a lot of times the uh, Covenant will run into uh, their other buddies there, which means you can eliminate multiple uh, Covenant at once using the grenades. So yep. that is definitely something we'll need to take advantage of here in this harder setting. Is he still alive? So I am on the top, we should say, and Justin's on the bottom. As we make our way through the Pillar of Autumn, the first level in the game, definitely an epic level. Uh, one of the best levels in the game, and it's pretty cool, obviously, just because it's the first one in the game. Just because uh, you mentioned Starship Troopers and uh, movies like that, you just really get a good feel of this first level of Alien. Total Mystery, yeah. Yep. And I think. Even though we are doing a decent oh job ourselves here, the general. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh no, I'll avenge your death. I stuck him. You going? So, uh, yeah, I was going to say that you just pretty much get the feel that the aliens are overpowering the humans here. Now, as Master Chief, we can do a pretty, jo pretty good job at, at uh, killing everybody and being the. Uh, you know the, the strongest character around you know we don't have too big of an issues with the cup uh, covenant here but you know the other humans unfortunately are not having the same luck that we are oh man damn it how did that not stick to the covenant guy get out of here so uh how you doing down there justin you having an easy time here with the uh, game so far try to find some grenades hide down a little bit I just took out a whole troop. Oh, damn it. Uh, I believe you just shot me. <laughs> you walked right into my path of fire. <laughs> Friendly fire. Man down. I can tell that you definitely did it because I can see my dead carcass in your screen. <laughs> well, I apologize. All right, I'm back. I do like the friendly fire, man. Most games do not have that, and it's good to see. Damn it, they have respawned me without a weapon. Oh boy. Oh boy. Going in with Fist of Fury. Damn, can, you can't even melee attack without a weapon. What's that about? Oh yeah, Plasma Rifle. Gotta love the music in this original Halo. This is my favorite in the series, the very first game. Uh, it's good to see that... The, uh, the enhanced graphics uh, haven't changed the, the gameplay mechanics because this game feels a lot different than the other Halo. Strangely enough, uh, there's something about this game that feels different. There is no dual wielding in this one, so maybe that has a lot to do with it. Yeah. More simplistic than the more recent Halo games. But the graphics, yeah, they look, they look just the same. They look great. Yeah, yeah, this anniversary edition is awesome. Definitely going to be fun to play through and see what graphics we have in store for us. 
because I totally blow up everything in my sight. Not having too big of an issue with the uh, heroic mode here. I think we should be fine. Although it gets a lot harder. Now, uh, another thing to uh, notice here in this version of Halo is we have health packs to worry about. There's, you can see there's little health blocks yeah. below our main health bar there. So Yeah, that's what I was scanning for over here. Yeah, you'll definitely... I noticed you had one left, one box left there. So you're definitely going to want to find a health pack, which is normally just sitting on a wall. Here's one over here. I'm going to need one as well. Also, uh, if you have a pistol, I think we've probably both lost ours. That's one of the better weapons in the game. And uh, you can pretty much use it as a sniper. So yep. if you do grab one of those, uh, definitely make sure to use that and uh, aim for the head. That's for sure. Okay, now we're coming up on one of the first the difficult parts of the game. And considering we are playing heroic, we're definitely going to want to be careful here. Now, the Covenant are going to have a high angle on us. They're on the top floor, and we're here on the bottom. So, it could be a little bit difficult. Be careful. I'm going to go up there and chuck some grenades here. Um, trying to figure out. I wonder. I don't know what button switches the grenades. It obviously switches the graphics. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's play this for a minute. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot different, that's for sure. It was amazing for its time, though. Oh, hell yeah, man. This is the, the killer app for the original Xbox. Uh, this was the party game. I remember people were oh, playing yeah. it at parties and, you know, system linking to uh, link all of them up so we could play multiplayer. All right, let's all clear up here. I want a better weapon. I'm going to chuck a grenade here. Got him. Got you on the foot. All right, let's go ahead and switch up to the enhanced graphics. So cool how you can switch back and forth like that. Yep. This way, this way. One thing this game is really known for is just completely perfect gra uh, controls, man. The controls just feel so smooth in this one. You can't really complain at all. So we are racing through the Pillar of Autumn. We need a escape vehicle here, or escape pod to get away from, damn it, <laughs> to get away from the Pillar of Autumn. Watch out, bro. And uh, head to this mysterious structure. Dropping bombs, dropping bombs. Heads up. Death will definitely come to both of us. And if we do die, uh, we are going to want to, oh, there goes this skate pod there and as you can see they're not making it too far at all oh, no. as the uh, covenant are blowing them up immediately hopefully that does not happen to us when we get into one damn all right so this is about halfway through the level we will be venturing through some tunnels hopefully you are not claustrophobic as uh we definitely need to make our way through this space uh, spacecraft here that we have and uh, try to escape and make our way to that huge ring that we saw and uh, seek refugee and seek shelter because this. this ship is going down and we're not going down without a fight. So stay tuned for the next episode as we make our way through the Pillar of Autumn and the first stage in Halo Combat Evolved. See you guys there.